Hi everyone, Jordan from Entech here. In a previous video we talked a little bit more about fuses and how you can go about wiring them into your installations. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit more about the allowances that you'll need to consider when incorporating fuses into your project. If you've been following along the LED video series, you may have had questions surrounding voltage drop, fuses and holders in the back of your head when you've been watching the last few episodes. If you've been thinking along these lines, well done. There is absolutely voltage drop that occurs between both terminals of the fuse that we have to consider in our installation. So, let's put together our own mock installation using a pixel octo and one meter of five volt pixel tape. To start off, we'll solder in our fuse holder, but this time we'll leave our soldered connections exposed so we can probe across both of these points to measure the voltage drop. Once everything's connected, we can apply power and boot up the system. If you're curious as to the correct method to measure voltage drop, you can check out our earliest LED videos on our Entech YouTube channel where we cover this method in detail. But for now, let's grab our multimeter and begin measuring the two points here to measure the voltage drop across the fuse. Measuring the voltage drop across the blade fuse, we can see a figure of under 100 millivolts. Similarly, we can set up our glass fuse holder and measure in the same way. For this setup, we're seeing a voltage drop of just under 150 millivolts. While the numbers that we've read are not insignificant, they are relatively low. So, while there will be some voltage drop across your fuse, it is a small amount and depending on the installation, it won't affect it all that much. If you do feel the need to account for this voltage drop, you can do so by designing a little extra headroom in your system. This can be achieved by using cable that's thicker than what you've calculated previously, or you can simply make your cable runs shorter, so there's even less voltage drop before you add in your fuses. We need to point out that the voltage drop readings that we've taken are applicable for these fuses and fuse holders only. If you'd like a better understanding of the voltage drop characteristics for your installation, it's best that you set up your own small scale setup with the fuses and fuse holders that you'll likely be using. But that's all for today's video. Like, share and subscribe if you found this video useful. Comment down below if you think there's something that we missed or you have any questions. Don't forget to check out our social media pages and stay tuned for more helpful and tech tips.